Welcome. Today we are going to perform a experiment of cascading of two circuits. These two circuits are mobile detector and mobile jammer circuit. We will see what output we get from this experiment. As we can see in the circuit diagram, we have cascaded or, you can say, we've combined two circuits. Mobile detector circuit output is connected to the transistor of the mobile jammer circuit. The positive output terminal of mobile detector is connected to the base of the transistor and the negative terminal is connected to the ground. Both the circuits works as per their operations. The power supply for both the circuits is 4 volts which is sufficient to drive the circuit. When we turn on power supply, when there is no frequency of 1 MHz jammer circuit will not give output, this is what happens when we combine these two circuits. Jammer circuit will give output when mobile detector detects the frequency of mobile phones. Let's run the simulation to see output. As we can see the LED starts blinking, when detector circuit detects the frequency of 1 megas. Now let's see the output waveforms. As we can see, the distorted waveforms which shows noise in the signal. When waveforms are at lower peak shows the capacitor C2 in the jammer circuit remains off, and when waveforms are at high peak shows capacitor is on. This will produce the noise. So we can conclude that when the mobile detector detects the frequency up to 1 MHz, the jammer circuit will activate and produces the noise.